and I try to find the composition and memorize it. What am I going to paint? What am I not going to paint? I'm only look, using one eye, and then I go like this, and I just and I might do this for ten minutes. I just look at it, try to memorize it, like I see it as a painting, and I just it's my eye moving through it. Do I like you know what's the greatest point of contrast? Do I need to add something? I want to paint. I don't want to have to make very much stuff up. I want to paint ninety percent of what I see. I don't want to have to move stuff I, because I'm not good at that. Uh, so. Uh, and that's not my style. I like trying to paint what I see. I'm excited about that. So I go back again. And I might do it this way. I don't do it this way every time, but this is one way I, I work on location. And I do it again. I'll look at it. I'll think about it. Might take some photographs if I have time. I might even do this for 10 minutes and leave and come back tomorrow morning and do the painting and think about it for a day. You know, so I'm thinking about that. And I'm getting to where I kind of like that. I kind of see a painting. I see a, a movement here, this little uh, uh, boat uh, cobra thing uh, is going out here. And I could, I could very easily, I don't need to define that. And then that moves that way. And then on the palm tree, it kind of goes to the left. So I kind of like this kind of an, there's kind of a nice S curve through this composition. So. Okay, so then depending on my time and where the lighting is, now I think about the light source. I'm going to grid my scene, just like I'm gridding a photograph. And I'm going to do, I'm going to do the same thing here. Okay. Do I do this every time? Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Mark your halfway point. First of all, you got to find your composition. You mark your halfway point, etc. Now, every time you do this, you have to shut one eye, you get your... Uh, find your composition, and once you start to do this, I will actually start, I kind of squint my eyes, and I'm going to go, well, this little, that little orange apartment sunlit there, that is actually right here. It's about here. Just like I'm tracing a photograph, or gridding a photograph. This uh, palm branch comes down here. This comes up here like this. Just a great artist. You don't need to do anything. You just, you don't even need to look at anything. If you're really a great artist, let's say your name is God. You simply. That's my son. Yeah, it's, it's Karen's son. You just, you look at this and you go, oh, that's pretty easy. Okay, let's head back up in the studio. Everybody goes in the studio, get comfortable, grab a glass of wine, and God just goes, no drawing, just go blah 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 blah. Takes ten seconds, and it looks exactly like that. And then it kind of goes, bing. And the trees start to move and everything, and it's like it's really that, except it's up in the studio, and it took him 15 seconds. Now, that's really good. That's when you say, wow, that guy's good. <laughs> now, everything else is us, okay? And Michelangelo, Rembrandt, Da Vinci, those guys are pretty close to that. Not, not really, but uh, I'm not like that at all. I have always had to struggle to get anything down. It's hard. Everything's been really, in terms of art, is... It's been a real hard way. I've had to figure out cheater systems my whole life like this to get it done. So that comes in there like that. Let's go to the blue sky. I showed you this the other day in terms of color. Well, you then take some of your studies you do on location then make a larger studio painting and from it? Yeah, you bet. In co uh, combination with photographs and uh, so I'm just painting around that. Little so basically a dry brush with a heavy pigment load? You know, that's what I'm doing today. Yeah. That'd be a different approach tomorrow. All right. Or the, depending on the subject, my approach is always dependent upon what subject is. Every right. subject calls for a different approach. So right. uh, I could have easily started with, I thought about, just about grabbed a one-inch flat brush. Mm. Instead, I did this. So who knows what I've done with a one-inch flat brush. Depends on the subject and how you're feeling that day. Yeah, and also I could have I could have taken the brush and just painted over everything except the tree trunks. And then I could have lifted out. Mm. the lighter shapes here uh, and done it much quicker but I thought no I want to show you guys a slower approach. Now as we go up the sky, see how the sky gets much lighter over there and much deeper as you go through so like that. So now we've got some now watch I'm painting around that you see a little diving in that branch is just shooting in here. I like that because that's gonna 
that's part of my counterbalance down here. That boat, see the boat going that way? This is this is I'm already thinking that's in a, this guy's an important player right here. This little guy right here is pretty important. And he'll be tinted green later. Yeah, every time I go on the brush, if the tin is soaking wet brush, just about every time this brush touches the paper, I've got a 3.5 amount of water in this brush. Not a five, not a two, not a six. Same amount of water every single time I touch this brush. And I control the water with the sponge and here and in the palette. It's not so much the color, but it's the value. If the value's right, and if your drawings are right, you're practically home free. You, you practically have a guaranteed painting you're going to like. You, even if you're colorblind, if you get the values in the drawing right and you got a good design, you're going to be a happy camper. Makes the full triangle. See that? Thank you, yeah. Bob. See yeah. all that carries away. Anything else you see that might help. I won't do it if I if I'm unsure, but just like when I tell you guys stuff, don't do it if you're not sure about it. If you're not sure if that's a good idea, then just say think about it. Same thing if you say something to me, I may or may not do it, but right away, as soon as Bob says, Oh yeah, that that helps. It's beautiful. Yeah, well, it's thanks. Really Thank beautiful. you, Stan. You bet. Okay. Thank you. Your turn. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Go to work. <laughs>